Once in a lifetime, a great entertainer comes along who you will never forget. We couldn't find that entertainer. <laughs> However, we did find someone who won't bore you. If you're ready to start, clap your hands like you really mean it. Ladies and gentlemen, the moment you've been waiting for has arrived. It's now time to prepare your mind and your body for an explosion. Entertainment. Welcome. Welcome to tonight's entertainment. experience may be the most exciting night of your life. Your seat will start rumbling. Your heart will start to pound. But don't be alarmed. Ladies and gentlemen, this is what you came here for. The party starts now. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention please. Test your ability to digest what you hear in yet another way. Do you know my feet? The way we're just about to We're preparing for take on one truly one of the most exciting and incredible journeys you'll ever undertake. This trip will bring us into new places, experience new sensations, and actually put us into new personality. And all this will happen without ever leaving your chair. Of course, in order to undertake a voyage of this type successfully, one must have a very unique sort of tour guide. And we have with us one of the very best in the business of my travel. So now, Please join me in welcoming the magnificent master of suggestion, Mr. Kevin Stone. Hello, folks, makes it nice! That's all you got? That's it? Come on, get those hands going to the music. Let's go to the music. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Here we go. Yeah. Keep it going. Yeah. Come on. Let's go. Come on. It's like a bunch of white people in this audience. Come on. Oh, indeed, indeed. How's everybody doing? Yeah. Wow, what a good looking group. And I mean that. That dog's fine. That's all right. Uh, he's fine. He's fine. We're going to hypnotize the dog. You know, good looking group. You know, um, I do a lot of parties, folks. I really do. Did one last night. Wasn't so good. But there's a good. Wow. You know, I was reading a, uh, a story on the way up today. In the Los Angeles Times, right there on the front page, there was a nationwide survey put out by our President of the United States of America, and he wanted to know how many good-looking and ugly people there actually were in our country. And I thought, wow, this is a cool test to do tonight at the show. Let's see how many people we have who are good-looking and ugly. So sit up straight in your chairs, put your feet flat on the floor. You can do that now. You're the cool people in the back. There you go. Good. Now look to your left. Do that now. Get a good look at those people sitting next to your left. Yeah. Now look to your right. Get a good look at those people sitting next to your right. Yeah. Now listen very carefully. This is how the test went. If those two people are good looking, guess what? You're the ugly one. I didn't mean to look at you when I said that, sir. Please don't beat me up after the show. Just kind of glance your way. Well, my name is Hollywood Hypnotist Kevin Stone. Round of applause. How many people have actually seen a hypnosis show before? Round of applause. Wow! No kidding. Well, that is awesome. Very cool. Well, if those who have never seen a hypnosis show before, I'd like to explain it a little tiny bit before I get started and to give us an idea about what this stuff really is. But before I get into the explanation, I want to make a. I made some predictions before I came here today, and I want to try and see if we're really connected with our mind because hypnosis is done with our minds, right? So I want to make that prediction, and so I brought it right here. It's inside of this envelope. So let me see. You, sir, have we ever met before? No. That's correct. I just want to make sure all the skeptics understand what's, what's going to happen here. Now, I've made a prediction, sir. Inside of this envelope, inside of this envelope, I want you to think of any politician, any celebrity, or anybody who comes to your mind very, very quickly. Do that now. Do you have it? Yeah. Okay. I have that prediction inside of this envelope. 
of the exact person. Is it a celebrity? Good. That picture of that celebrity is inside of this envelope. For the first time, sir. Who is that celebrity? Yell it out nice and loud so everybody can hear. Buddy Rich. Buddy Rich? Buddy Rich. Buddy Rich. Buddy Rich. Dating yourself a little bit there, sir. But I have in this in this envelope, ladies and gentlemen. You laugh. But I have a picture of Buddy Rich when he was a baby. Exactly. You know, I did this last night. Somebody yelled out, Obama. I got that one covered too. And then somebody said, it's Michael Jackson. I go, well, I'm not sure what. <laughs> Some great pictures though, aren't they? Yeah, I have a great picture of my kids in here. You wanna see my kids? Yeah, here's my kids, you want to see. go. All right, that's just a little bit of fun. But before we get started, ladies and gentlemen, I want to explain hypnosis to you a little bit, just so you can understand what this stuff really is and what it really isn't. Because in actuality, folks, all hypnosis is really self-hypnosis. We go in and out of it about a thousand times a day to a natural state. It really, truly is. Matter of fact, my understanding is there's a lot of law enforcement here, a lot of EMTs, a lot of people in the service, right? That's already hypnosis, folks. It truly is. And I'm going to explain to you in a little bit so you can understand what I'm really talking about. Because you see, today we're going to have a lot of fun. But the real reason I do these shows is because underneath the platform of the comedy and the fun we're going to have today is an educational experience. It gives you an idea about the power of your mind and how you can use that because it's a natural resource. Because like I mentioned, all hypnosis is self-hypnosis. We go in and out of it about a thousand times a day. Real common forms of hypnosis are called freeway hypnosis. Kind of like on the freeway, just driving along, right? Feeling good, your hair's blowing out the window, listen to the radio, you realize your exit was about three exits back somewhere, right? <laughs> Round of applause, I don't know people had that experience before. Yeah, all the time. Other common forms, childbirth, karate, yoga, it's all hypnosis. Reading a good book, watching a good movie, all hypnosis folks well before we get started today I like to do what I like to call intelligence tests kind of gives you an opportunity to show you the power of your mind now I'm not gonna hypnotize you right now folks but I am going to show you how intelligent how powerful your minds can be so again all you can do is sit straight in your chairs feet flat on the floor even the ugly people <laughs> makes you better looking <laughs> now I have to do now folks go ahead and take your arms extend them out just like this put your palms upward oh excellent there you go. Even the cool people in the back, I'm watching you from right here. That's yeah, so as an audience interactive show, folks. Excellent. Take them out, put them out like that. Now all you have to do now, folks, is go ahead and close down your eyes. Focus and concentrate on my voice. And as you do, ladies and gentlemen, in a few moments, my staff will be walking around checking for your wallets, purses, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This guy over here is checking for his wallet. It's a, it's a bunch of law enforcement here. No worries today. <laughs> the only thing you got to worry about is that warrant you get out on you. <laughs> is that bike registered, sir? <laughs> Let's see the green tag. <laughs> All right, go ahead and leave your arms out, though, folks. This is a powerful test. I guarantee you're going to feel something today. Now, I'm not going to get This is not hypnosis, but I'm going to show you how your mind works. Like I told you, this is an educational platform today. I'm going to show you a lot about a lot of things and what you can do that you didn't know was possible in your life. Okay? So all you have to do is go ahead and close your eyes again. Feet flat on the floor, sit up straight. Focus and concentrate on my voice. As you do, I want you to visualize, I want you to imagine, I want you to think. That I've just placed on one of your hands. You decide, I'm not going to decide for you, one million dollars cold hard cash. Mm. One. You start to feel the money on that hand that you've now chosen. Two. You start to feel the weight of that money as your hand becomes heavier. Three, size of the money. Could be cold, hot, rough, smooth. You decide it's your money. Four, just increase in size by $2 million. The more you resist the weight of that money, the heavier that hand continues to get as it starts to drag down into your lap. Heavier, 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 heavier. 
Heavier, heavier, heavier. Now freeze, don't move. Open your eyes. Round of applause. How many people felt the weight of the money? Round of applause. How many people got it? There you go. Yeah. All right, let's go for another test. You guys are doing well today. Good for you. Excellent. Everyone take your hands, put them up to us like this. Excellent. Now on the count of three, folks, that'll be three. We're going to take those hands, we're going to clasp them down together on the count of three. Does everybody understand what they need to do? Yes. Okay, that would only be the good looking people saying yes. Does everybody understand what they need to do? Yes. Excellent. Now you might sense a little frustration in my voice, folks. There's a reason for that. Last night's show, it was a simple instruction, just like I just gave you all. It's one, two, three, we go like that, right? Took us 572 times to get on the first time. It's for a very long evening. All right, keep your hands up. Follow me, do exactly as I do. Everybody take your hands, go like this. 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 Now listen carefully. If that didn't make you feel silly, no matter what we do up here, is it going to make you feel any sillier than that? Actually, no, take your hands up like this. Now it's one, two, three. You got it? Got it. Okay, so here we go. First time tonight, this is going to be the crowd. It's going to make my entire weekend. So here we go. Kind of free, folks. Here we go. Here we go. Follow me. Do exactly what I do. Here we go. You ready? So it's one, two, three, right? Okay, here we go. We'll just practice. <laughs> So here we go. Count of three, folks. Ready? Here we go. Ready? One, two. No, no, no. no. Ah! You gotta no. keep the hand moving. I was just switching the microphone to my other hand. It's one, two, three. You got it? Got it. You said that the last time. Here we go, folks. Count of three. Here we go. Ready? Here we go. Ready? One, two. No, no, no. No. That was the ugly people. Don't worry about it. <laughs> now, here we go. No more fooling around. I'll go slow for you. This is a slow group. We'll go slow. Here we go. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> Count three. One, two, three. Ooh, that was cool. See, I do that for me. I like the sound of it. Everybody do it together. Now, this is the cool part. Now, pay attention very carefully to this part. Because this is the part, the next party you go to, next barbecue, at the water cooler on Monday when you go back to work, or the 4th of July, barbecue coming up. You will be doing this to your friends. So pay attention, this is some really cool stuff. Take your hands, fold them down just like this. Take your two fingers, put them up like this. Make a goal post, just like that. Now don't look at me, look directly down the center of your two fingers. Concentrate on my voice. You'll find that starting right now, those two fingers will start to move in closer and closer together. There's, there's two magnets on those fingers pulling and tugging, tugging and pulling closer, closer, closer now. It will touch. When they do touch, you reach ahead of your suggested bills and continue to move in. Pulling and tugging, tugging and pulling closer, 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 touching, 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 touching. Closer, 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 touching, 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 touching. Round of applause. How many people had their fingers touch? Round of applause. How many people got it? Round of applause. Keep clapping. The ones who really got that, keep clapping. The ones who didn't get it, look around. The ones who are clapping. Those are the intelligent people of this group. Get a good look. I know I did. Why did you do that? Cool stuff, huh? You'll be showing that to your friends next party, trust me. All right, we're going to do one more, and then we're going to start looking for some volunteers to come up here and have some fun. Now, I'm, I need I'm just one volunteer to help me out. Now, I'm not going to hypnotize you. I'm just gonna, I just need you for one second, and then you can go back to your chair. So who can help me out? You want to help me out, sir? Give him a nice round of applause. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> All right, what's your name, sir? Damon. Damon. Damon, take your hands out of your pocket, sir. I'm doing the entertainment today. Hi, right, Damon. Good to see you. Stand right over here by the star. What's that? The star? Yes, the star. Stand right by the star. Damon. I would be the star. <laughs> I don't get any respect, I just don't. All right, Damon, you're doing awesome. Now listen, we're going to pull back a little bit because we're in an interesting room today. So, Damon, come over back over here for me. 
Yeah, there it is here. Excellent. Now, Damone, stand right over here for me just like that. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, Damone, you see that plant up there, that green plant, that beautiful plant hanging right there where the butterfly is? Mm -hmm. Okay, no folding your arms with that down by yourself. <laughs> Keep it in your pocket. I remember what we told you earlier. <laughs> now, Damone, your job is simple. All you do is stare at that plant. Don't take your eyes off until I ask you to do so, okay? Excellent. All I have to do is smile. Okay, here. It's a party, Damone. Come on, man. It's not a funeral. Big smile. That's all you need to do, Damone. See, your job simple. All right, now, folks, this is a hypno disc. I'm not going to hypnotize you with this. This is actually not how hypnosis works. You might see this in the movies or on television, but this is not how we do hypnosis. But I am going to show you something really cool. Like I showed you with the things, we want to show you something else your mind could do in a natural state. All you have to do in a moment. In a moment, we'll start spinning this disc round and round. Your job is to look right here at the white spot. That's all you need to do is focus on that spot. When I tell you to take your eyes off of the spot, I'll tell you what you need to do from that point. Come on, I'm going to step back just a little bit more because I want this to work today. So right there, my friend. Okay. So some of you aren't going to get this because of the way the room is set up. I'm going to try to do as best as I can. So again, folks, all you have to do is stare at this white spot. Don't take your eyes off of it. I'm not hypnotizing you. This is not how hypnosis works. It truly isn't. And if you don't learn anything today, trust me, you're going to get something out of the show today. We're going to have a lot of fun. You're going to get a lot of education about what's happening with the power of your mind in a natural state. But if you really focus on this white spot right now in a moment, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to count to the number three. When I get to three, I'll tell you exactly what you need to do. But if you are focusing, if you are concentrating on that white spot, just let your mind relax, body relax, eyes relax. Again, I'm not hypnotizing you. This is not how hypnosis works. But in a moment, I'm going to show you how your mind does work. I'm going to count to three. When I get to three, you'll take your eyes off of the white spot you're going to look at the center of Damone's nose. Don't do it until I tell you to do so. Here we go. One, two, and three. Check it out. That's cool, huh? Yeah. Now did that get big or small? Big. His wife's like, big. Well, you're doing awesome, bro. Yeah. I'm going to do it from this side now. Right there. Stay there. Look at the plant. All right. For those of you who didn't get it the first time, hopefully you get it on this time. It's all folks about concentration, folks. Again, this is not hypnosis. But if you do pay attention, this time will be completely different if you did get it on the first time. So here we go. Come on. Hands down by your side. Look at the plant. Big smile. Here we go. Now, folks, concentrate on the white spot. Again, this is not hypnosis, folks. I'm not hypnotizing you. This is not how we do it. But this is something that's a very natural state of your mind and what your mind can do if you really focus. It's about focus, it's about concentration. Like I mentioned earlier, we do have a lot of uh, police officers here. They already do focus. They already come from an ex-military background. All of that is suggestibility and hypnosis. They just don't tell you that. But anybody who wears a uniform, EMTs, people who work in the medical field, anyone who does wear a uniform already understands the powers of hypnosis. Today, when we're done, you're going to understand more of this. So again, just focus on that white spot. In a moment, I'll count to three. When I get to three, if you got on the first time, this time will be completely different. It'll be better than the first, I guarantee you that. Focus, concentrate. I'm going to count to three. You'll look at Damone's nose. Here we go. One, two, and three. Check it out, folks. His wife's not so happy now, is she? Don't worry about it. We'll talk to you about it later, Damone. <laughs> Tell you what, come on over here, Damone. Stand right there for me. Now, Damone, you want to be hypnotized? Yeah. Okay, excellent. All right, tell you what, Damone, let me see. One, two, let's see. One, two, one, two, three, four. Right there, that chair right there. Have a seat, sir. Now, Damone, for all the skeptics here at this party, we have never met before, correct? You might have seen me on television, or maybe seen me locally here at the theme parks like Disney or something to that effect, but we have never met before, correct? No, not at all. Okay, now, Damone, check this out, sir. Now, don't look yet, but underneath that chair, on a big 3 by 5 card in big red letters, is your first name, last name, your street address, and your cell phone number. No. Check it out. Under the chair. Come on, come on. I'm not a psychic. I'm a hypnotist. 
But you're a good sport. Have a seat, sir. <laughs> All right, now in a moment, ladies and gentlemen, in a moment, I'm going to start inviting some lucky people to come up here and join us, become a part of this show, and become the star of this program, and I do mean the star. Now, have you seen my shows on television? Have you seen my shows locally? As you know, I am the Hollywood hypnotist. I'm a board-certified, licensed hypnotherapist right here in the state of California. I have a big clinic over in Beverly Hills where I'm known as the hypnotist to the stars. I treat all of them for all kinds of reasons, just like anybody else. Actually, round of applause today. How many people would like to stop smoking? Any smokers in the room want to stop today? Yeah, a couple of you. Good. Excellent. We're going to help you with that. Guarantee, folks. Last night we did a show. I was sharing this with, uh, with somebody who was at the party a little bit earlier. I had a gentleman just like our good friend, Damone. I didn't know this until after the program because I don't have to know what people want to change. You get to change something in this program today. Yeah, that's the, the opportunity of what's happening here today, folks. I'm going to explain that in a minute, though. But we had somebody come up just like the moon, right? Now, I, don't, I didn't know what he wanted to change because I gave those suggestions after the show, right? So he came up. He was like the moon. He was the best ever, but he was forced up here. His wife kind of like pushed him up because she said, see me on MTV last week. She goes, oh, oh my gosh, you got to get up there. That's the guy. That's the guy that's going to help you to stop smoking. Now, I didn't know any of this. This was happening at the table, right? So he comes up, sits in the chair, what goes through the entire show, has most fun ever. This guy was hilarious, right? So Kevin, we have the show, and he goes, Kevin, you know the suggestion to give after the show? I didn't want to come up here, but I had the best time I ever had. I feel so amazing. And the suggestions I gave myself were to stop smoking. Well, check this out, folks. He was a 40-year smoker, two and a half packs a day, camel non-filters. Worst cigarettes ever. He grabbed the mic, and he declared to everyone in the audience, I am now a non-smoker, thanks to the Hollywood hypnotist Kevin Stone, crumbled up his brand new pack of cigarettes, dropped them on the floor, and that was it. Done. That's going to happen to you today, smokers. Guaranteed. Round of applause. How many people would like to lose some weight? Round of applause. Yeah. yeah. Same people. We're going to help you with that, folks. Guarantee. Absolutely. Round of applause. How many people would like to make more money? Yeah, that should be all of you. Yeah. I should be hearing like a thunderous round of applause right now. Yeah. Well, excellent. Because I can't help you with that. Love my price range. Actually, folks, no matter what it is you want to change today, like I mentioned, I don't have to know what that is. But if you do come up here like a good friend, Damone, at the end of this program, I'm going to give you the power of your mind. My sessions are valued at $275 for 50 minutes of my time. So what I'm telling you to do, folks, is do take advantage of what is happening here at this party. This isn't a phone call that Samantha and I just did yesterday to get some clown hypnotist to come out here. This was a lot of preparation, a lot of planning, and if you know Samantha, trust me. I should have charged her double. But on another note, Take advantage of what is happening here today, folks. This is not something I normally do. This is something that, again, she called me. She told me what was happening. I said, fantastic. I'm going to open up the schedule. We're going to make this happen. This is a six-month process. And today is the day we're going to make some history. So take advantage of what is happening. So I'm looking for certain types of people to come up here, people who, A, really want to be hypnotized. I openly admit this. I cannot hypnotize anyone who doesn't want to be hypnotized. It doesn't work that way, folks. Because if it did, I can guarantee you one thing. I wouldn't be standing here at 8 o'clock on a Saturday night. I would have went to the bank earlier, hypnotized all the tellers, <laughs> dropped the money in my car, and went home. Okay. So you have to really want to be hypnotized. Second type of person I'm looking for, we've seen my shows on television or locally here at Knott's or Six Flags or, or Disney. I'm looking for the most fun people, like our good friend Damone. People want to have a good time. People who really want to be the star of this program. Third type of person I'm looking for is somebody who wants to change something in their lives. I don't have to know what that is, but at the end of this program, I'm going to give you that power. So, I'm looking for certain types of people to come up here. You know who they are. So this is how we're going to do it. So, Damone, uh, we're going to put you over here. And so we're going to do guy, girl, guy, girl, all the way down the row. I'm not going to pick you. I'm going to allow you to be volunteering yourself. You want to be hypnotized? You want to be a part of this show? It's all up to you. Take advantage of what is happening, folks. 
I do recommend that, okay? So guy, go, guy, girl, if we run out of chairs and you still want to be hypnotized, I'll tell you what you need to do in the audience. But right now, we're looking for seven more people to come on up here. So let's go. I'm not going to pick you from the audience. Come on up. Let's go. Let's go. Guy, girl, guy, girl, all the way down the road. Let's go. Wait, let's go. What, what, what happened? There we go. Yeah, let's go. Come on, Bo. There we go. Excellent. Everyone sit straight in chair. Put your feet flat on the floor, hands flat on top of your laps. Backs pressed against the back of your chair. Devon, your lap, not her lap. That's a whole different program. All right, here we go, folks. Your job is simple. I want you to think of a very comfortable, very relaxing place where you feel good, where you feel happy. Do not close your eyes. Just think of that comfortable place. Two things to think about. Number one, having a good time. That's why you're here. It's your party, not mine. Second thing, if you want to change something, make that change today. Take advantage of what is happening, folks. You may never get another opportunity like this, okay? So those two things, I'll be right back. I want to talk to the audience, tell them what they need to do, okay? Audience, this program for the next three, three solid minutes is going to depend entirely upon all of you. What I mean by that, folks, we're going to need as much silence as you can give us. We're outdoors, so you can see there's a lot of challenges going on today. So the more silence you give me, the better show you get. It's really that simple. Now, if you want to try hypnosis, you can try it right there in your seats, right there in the audience. All you have to do is focus and concentrate on my instructions. You're going to go into hypnosis right where you are. Now, if you go into hypnosis where you're at, folks, what I'll do is I'll come out, take you out of hypnosis, or I'll invite you up here. It'll be entirely up to you. Like I mentioned to you, take advantage of what is happening here. This is an opportunity not to miss, so do take advantage of what the organizers of this party, Samantha and everyone who put this thing together, take advantage of, okay? Now, a word of caution. If you're sitting near some weird, goofy, smelly people, Move away from them. Because what's going to happen is they're going to start poking you while you go into hypnosis. They're going to whisper, are you going into hypnosis? What does it feel like? And they're going to come up here after the show and say, Kevin, I didn't go into hypnosis. Why didn't I go in? That's probably one of the reasons. Okay? I've been doing this for a long time, folks. So believe me, I've seen everything. So if you're really serious about going into hypnosis, move away from anyone who's going to bother you or disturb you. You're going to go to hypnosis really that simple. Now, with all of that said, let's give these amazing, phenomenal, intelligent, powerful people a thunderous round of applause. Come on, make them feel good! That's all you guys got? That's like a dump clock on a golf game. Seriously? I don't want to hear sit straight in your chair, feet flat on the floor, hands flat on top of your laps, back to press against the back of your chairs. Now, I'm in a really good mood today. What I've decided is, is that since you guys came up here and volunteered, you get front row seats. <laughs> I'm not hypnotizing you. I'm hypnotizing all these people right here. All right, does everybody have any gum in their mouth? Raise your hand. Gum? Not me. There's one? Go ahead and take it out of your mouth. Sweetie, stick it under the chair. Hurry up, quickly. Nobody's looking. <laughs> oh, don't swallow your gum. We'll give you a piece of napkin. There you go. You did not swallow that gun. Alright. Are you single? Seems right in the Swallowing gum. Oh boy. Oh. Okay. Alright, sit straight into your feet. Again, all you have to do is focus here on me. Do not take your eyes off of my ass throughout this program. No matter where I go, your eyes, your head will follow. It is for your personal safety. So we get used to each other so we can feel what it's going to be like to go into hypnosis. You, my good friend, Damon, just stay as you are. Do not move. Everyone take your head, lean it over to the right person, shoulder down. All the way down. Touching shoulders. That's right. All the way down. There you go. All the way down. Excellent. There you go, sweetie. All the way down. Now get used to this position. This is what your body is going to feel like once you go into hypnosis. Very heavy, limp, loose, relaxed, completely, totally in every way. This is what you're going to feel like once you go into hypnosis. This is what your neighbors are going to feel like once they're in hypnosis. Sit up straight in your chair for me. Excellent. 
Sir, stay as you are. Do not move. And we take your head. Go the other direction. Here we go. All the way down. Touching shoulders again. Here we go. All the way down, sir. It's only a girl. You get used to that when you get a little low, dear. Okay. Like this guy right here. He went right down. See him? Boom. <laughs> Again, get used to this position. This is what your body will feel like once you go into hypnosis. Very heavy, limp, loose, relaxed, completely, totally in every way. This is what you're going to feel like once you go into hypnosis. This is what your neighbors are going to feel like once they're in hypnosis. This is what they're going to smell like. Get used to it. Excellent. Sit up straight in your chairs for me. All right, this is the part of the program I do get uh, serious about. This is the only part of the program I do get serious about. We're going to have a good time, folks. But again, the reason I do these programs is to educate, uplift, and help people to change something in their life. We're gonna have a good time, we're gonna have a lot of laughs, but for the next three minutes is the serious part of the program. We're gonna get these people in hypnosis. Now again, please no videotaping any portion of this program. There's a lot of copyrighted material, there's a lot of stuff going on that you just don't wanna get tangled up in. And there's a lot of law enforcement here, so you guys understand what that means, okay? So <laughs> do not tape any portion of this program. I am videotaping this program. I'll make those available after the program. If you want a copy of that, I'll tell you how to get that. But after the hypnotic trance, you can take all the pictures you want. Matter of fact, all the more pictures you take, the better. Okay? So you can take all the pictures you want. Please don't videotape any of the program. There's too many musical cues and copyright thing. It's just, it gets messy. So trust me when I tell you, we've got a great camera running right now this whole entire show. So, with all that said, let's give these amazing, powerful people a thunderous round of applause. Come on, make them feel good. All right, again, focus here on me. Do not take your eyes off of my eyes throughout this program, no matter where I go. Your eyes, head will follow. It's for your personal safety. What I can do now, folks, is go ahead and take a nice deep breath. Here we go. All the way in. Hold it. And release. Wow. Wow. That is impressive. All right. If you're in the audience, this is your opportunity. Focus and concentrate on my instructions on stage. What I want you to do now is go ahead and look down at the back of your left hand. Have a look down now at the back of your left hand now as you continue to focus, concentrate on the sound of my voice. As you're looking down the back of the left hand now, ladies and gentlemen, you will start to notice your eyes becoming very, very heavy. They may become blurry, maybe even watery, maybe even a burning sensation, that's okay. The more you stare at the back of that hand, the heavier your eyes are. In a moment, everyone on stage, everyone in the audience, I'm gonna to count to the number three. You're gonna open your eyes, you're gonna to listen to this amazing thunderous round of applause, it's all for you. You're concentrating very nicely, you allow yourself to have a good time, that's why you're here. Every time I suggest the words deep sleep, sleep, snap my fingers, touch your bodies, any way, shape, or form, only serves for your purposes, for your physical bodies to relax, collapse, eyes will automatically shut down, drop down to this powerful state. Now, audience, this is now your opportunity. We're cheering, clapping, yelling, screaming, you do from this point forward, the better show we all get. So here we go, I'm gonna wake them up. Let's give them a nice thunderous round of applause. Here we go, one, two, and Three. Eyes open, everybody. Wide awake. Wide awake. Sit up straight in your chairs. Put your feet flat on the floor. Hands flat on top of your laps. Backs pressed against the back of your chairs. Excellent. Yeah. Now, you may know some of these fine people are up here. They're your friends, family, relatives, neighbors, maybe even some of your enemies. I have no idea who they are. They are. We're going to find out very quickly, but the more fun you have, the more cheering, clapping, yelling, and screaming you do, the better your stories are going to be. It's really that simple, okay? Now, beautiful. What was your name again? My name's Annie. Annie, you're doing fantastic. But Annie, I'm going to put you in a special chair right over here so I can watch you, okay? Give her a nice round of applause. Right over here, Annie. Sit right here, right, right next to her. There you go. Yeah, you're on the good hands right there. Now, you Yesenia, I'm going to put you right over there, sweetie. Get you off this angle right here. Here we go. Thank you so much. All right. Have a seat. Now, again, like I said, you may know who these people are. I don't. Let's find out who they are very quickly. Then the fun shall begin. We're going to start right over here. Neil, do me a favor. Stick your chair in nice and tight. Slide your chair in nice and tight. There you go. Good. We'll start right over here. What's your name, sir? Jared, how do you feel? Is your body heavy, light, tingly? Tell these folks how you feel. Body feels heavy. Feels heavy. Good to be here. Thanks for coming up today. Kevin Stone. Look at me, Jared. Here we go. You ready? Just relax. Here we go. And sleep. Way down, let it go. Come on, folks. That's Jared. Make him feel good. I know it's amazing. We haven't even got to the good stuff yet. There you go. Hello, sir. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? 
จ้าYour body heavy, like tingly. How do you feel? Heavy. Heavy. Good for you, too, Sully. Now we got you out of the audience, so good for you. Hey, you're here. Sleep like your body. Oh my God. Come on, folks. We haven't even gotten the good stuff. Nothing. Nothing. Hello, beautiful. What's your name? Leilani. Leilani. Wow, I love that. Kind of Hawaiian. How do you feel? Is your body heavy, like tingly? How do you feel? Heavy. Yeah. Feels good, huh? Sleep like you Oh, by the way, get those cameras out. You can take all the pictures you want now, folks. We're not, sorry. Hello, sir. What's your name? Rodney. Rodney, how do you feel? Is your body heavy, like tingly? How do you feel? Actually, just neutral. That's it. So I tell people, there's nothing to feel. You just feel okay. It's really that simple. Rodney, just take a nice deep breath. Hands flop top of your laps. Good. Take a nice deep breath, Rodney. And just close your eyes. Let it go. Come on, that's Rodney. Make him feel good. Now, everyone is different in hypnosis, folks. That's why I'm asking them these questions so you can get a better idea about what's really going on. Not everyone's the same. Just like a personality. Hello, beautiful. What's your name? Halo. Halo. I love that. How do you feel? Is your body heavy like tingly? How do you feel? Relaxed. That's it. Good. Thanks for coming on. Yeah, you are relaxed. See how her hand came on so slow. Here we go, Mabel. Look at me. Sleep for like two bites. <laughs> Come on, folks. <laughs> You're next. What's your name, sir? Nick. Nick. Oh, that's Nick. <laughs> Pretty deep. How do you feel, Nick? I feel fine. I tell people, there's nothing weird or freaky. Easy, Nick. Easy. Good job. Look at me, Nick. Just relax. Just relax. That's what I just say. You feel bad? That's all I'm just doing. You ready? You ready now? <laughs> Sleep for like two hours. Come on, folks. Just... Hello, beautiful. What's your name? Adriana. Adriana. How do you feel? Is your body heavy like tingly? How do you feel? Yeah. Tingly. I'm glad you're tingly. I'm not going to ask you where. <laughs> you guys are weird. Yes, What's that? <laughs> good to see you, beautiful. Thanks for coming up there. Good job. Look at you. Feels good, I know. <laughs> Sleep on it. Come on, folks. Two to go. Now, we met you way earlier in this program, but tell everybody your name and for the purpose of the camera, who are you? Come on. Come on. How do you feel? You got that dry mouth, huh? I just feel uh, light, tingly. You're tingly too, huh? I don't figure that much. All right. Come on. Thanks for coming up, sir. Look at me. Yeah. Don't go until I tell you. It feels good. Only when I tell you. He's ready. <laughs> Come on. Do me a favor. Take, both, take your thumbs. Stick it out just like that. Now blow on it nice and gently. <laughs> In fact, put, just take the other thumb. Do the other thumb too. Both thumbs, yeah. Blow on it. I'll warm them up. A little bit faster. Now, when you take those thumbs and you stick them to your forehead, them on, your eyes will close. You go back in hypnosis. Ready? Do it now. Relax. Let it go. That's the bond, folks. Come on, make it feel good. Neil, how you feeling, sir? Right. Now I want to tell you something really quick about Neil because I have that luxury of time right now. Mm -hmm. Neil, 
because we've already figured out he's an ex-officer. Are you a runner too? Are you running or sports? What kind of athlete are you? Do you do sports or at all? Golf? Or? I do a lot of hiking. Sorry? I do a lot of hiking. Hiking. Yeah. In the zone. Always in the zone. Now this is what we call in my business third stage cinemalism. It took me five years to achieve the level that this man went in into the audience. He didn't even come up here. He did it right there from where he seat. Now I didn't do anything. Again, I'm just the guide. I take people where they need to go. They take themselves where they want to go. And since he is a hiker, since he is an ex-officer, he's already used to that state of mind. All I'm doing here is taking them to another level. A level they've never experienced before and they feel like that. That's how powerful it is. And I want to point that out because, again, you don't get to see that a whole lot, especially in a comedy hypnosis show. You don't get to see those kind of levels. But when I do, I like to point them out, especially with myself, because I know it took me five years to get to that point. So good for you, Neil. Thanks for coming up today, sir. It's an honor. It's a pleasure to have you up here. Look at me, Neil. And sleep. But actually, probably let it go away now. These are your stars right here, folks. Come on, make these people feel good. Yeah. Yeah. You got to get louder than that, folks. Come on. All right, everyone on stage, everything is the truth. The moment I say it, everything is the truth. The moment I say it. You find yourself, ladies and gentlemen, going on a trip, trip of a lifetime. All expenses are paid. Your bags are packed. You have a pocket full of money. One million dollars to be exact. Cold hard cash is in your pocket. The limousine just came to your house to pick you up. It's a big giant white limousine all for you. You're getting inside the limousine. You're feeling good. Big smiles are on your face. No cares, no worries, no problems. You feel phenomenal. Limousine is now speeding off down to the airport. You're at the airport now getting out of the limousine and you're boarding the plane. As you board the plane, ladies and gentlemen, you've just been notified, you have a first class seat on that airplane, and you have a window seat. You're sitting over by the window, you're feeling good. Big smiles on your face, no cares, no worries, no problems. One million dollars of cash in your pocket, you feel phenomenal. The captain has just notified me that the seatbelt sign just came on. With your eyes closed, everyone go ahead and buckle up your seatbelt for safety. Don't forget about your shoulder harness, buckle up now. As you continue to buckle up, your eyes remain closed. That's right. Now, this is like a ride at Six Flags Magic Mountain or Disneyland. There's a big black rubber belt up above. Reach up with both hands, grab the belt, pull the belt down, strap it nice and tight. Nobody's falling out of their seats today. The plane is now taking off down the runway, starting to climb into the sky. 10,000 feet, 20,000 feet, climbing higher and higher now. You're feeling good. Big smiles on your face. No cares, no worries, no problems. You feel phenomenal. With your eyes closed, everyone go ahead and use a free hand and wave goodbye to everybody. That's right. Use a free hand and wave goodbye. That's right. See you later. Bye-bye. Adios. Trip of a lifetime. You feel good. Use both hands and wave goodbye. That's right. See you later. Adios. Bye-bye. Trip of a lifetime. Matter of fact, your boss is down there. Wave goodbye to your boss. You're not going back to work. See you later. Bye-bye, boss man. See ya. Adios. Trip of a lifetime. I feel awesome. Yeah, wave goodbye. See you later. Yeah, see ya. Bye. However, though, ladies and gentlemen, the captain has just notified me we have to make an emergency landing. We're going to be perfectly safe on the landing. However, ladies and gentlemen, it's going to land a smack dab right here in the middle of the North Pole. It's freezing cold here in the North Pole. You start to feel your body shake, shiver, and quiver with coldness now. You want to snuggle up to somebody for body warmth. Grab on now. Snuggle up even more. Grab on even tighter. It's ice cold. Freezing cold. We're all friends and family. Snuggle up even more. Grab on, Demond. That's right. Neil, grab on. It's okay. We're freezing cold. Start stomping your feet on the floor. It's ice cold. Help your neighbors out with your eyes closed. Cover up their ears. Their ears are ice cold. Their ears are falling out. Cover their ears up. Cover their ears. That's right. Cover their ears up. It's ice cold. Freezing cold. Cover them up. Their noses are falling off. Cover their noses up. Cover their noses. It's ice cold. Freezing cold. Oh, this day of your life. And everybody sleep. Relax your bodies. Let it go. Dropping down. Eyes closed. It's feeling good. With your eyes closed, go ahead and fluff up your pillows, get nice and comfortable, fluff it up. That's right, fluff up those imaginary pillows, fluff it up. Fluffy, fluffy, fluff it up. Fluff it up. Fluff it up. Fluff it up. 
<laughs> now we're doing okay over here, folks. This ain't too bad. This is alright. Average. Seen this before. This is okay. I'm a little concerned about this right here. Count of three, folks. You're doing fantastic. I love your energy. I love your creativity. However, to count of three, folks, you're still on the airplane. The captain has just notified me that on the count of three, he wants to put a movie on. And on the count of three, this is going to be the funniest movie you've ever seen in your entire lives. You're starting to think about that movie now? You're getting a little bit of giggly. Count of three is going to hit you full force. You're going to stay in your chairs, your eyes are remain closed. But the more you laugh, the harder you laugh, the better you feel. I'm going to count to three, it's going to hit you full force. Roar and yell and laugh, the funniest thing you've ever seen. One, two, and three, that's right, check out. Funniest thing you've ever seen in your life. That movie just got 1,000 times by <laughs> 2,000 times by the Funniest thing you've ever seen in your life. This movie's so funny, you have to pee your pants, but you can't get out of your chair. Hold it in, hold it in, folks, hold it in. Hold it in. This movie's so funny, you have to do number two. Hold it in, Neil. Hold it in. So funny, so funny, you can't believe it. Still watch the movie, the funniest thing ever, however. They're going to change the movie, it is now. The saddest movie you've ever seen, you're crying. One, two, three. Whoa. Wow. Wow. You can't believe it. So sad. Wow. If I touch you, you're going to tell me what's happening. What's going on, sir? Who died? Freddy. <laughs> Freddy's dead. Freddy's dead. Freddy's dead. Freddy's dead. Count of three, he's still watching the movie. However, we're going to turn it back. It's gonna be funny again. One, two, three. Funniest thing you've ever seen. That's right. Funniest thing in the world. That's right. You can't believe it. If I should come around and touch you, that movie just got even funnier. That movie just got one million times funnier. Two million times funnier. Three gazillion times funnier. Fourteen gazillion times funnier. And everybody sleep, relax your bodies while they go dropping down, way down. These are your stars, ladies and gentlemen. Cole, make these people feel good. <laughs> fluff up those pillows, get nice and comfortable, folks. Fluff it up, fluffy, fluffy. Fluff it up. Eyes remain closed. Fluff it up. Count of three, oh, ladies and gentlemen. Count of three, all of you. Every single one of you came here to this amazing history-making party to enter the world-famous disco dance contest. Now, this is an ordinary disco dance contest, folks. You came here for a specific reason. To win the $1,000 in cash money. Now, listen up, dancers. I'm gonna play the music on the count of three. You're gonna get up out of the, you're gonna leap up out of those chairs. Now all the judges are in the audience. Now these judges have already seen many, many different types of disco dance contests. They don't want to see normal dancing. They want to see creative dancing. They want to see dancing that's going to impress them. So as you're thinking about that dance move in your mind, in a moment I'm gonna to count to three. You're gonna open your eyes, get up out of that chair, do your best disco dance moves. Impress these judges. $1,000 in cash money on the line. Get ready. Here comes the music. One, two, and three. Eyes open. That's right. Get on the floor. Let's go, folks. Up and at them. Let's go. Everybody up. Let's go. Everybody up. Let's go. Get down and boogie. Let's go. Everybody show us the moves. That's right. Get down. Show us the moves. You're belly dancers now, you're belly dancers! Belly dancers! <laughs> belly dancing! Gentlemen, I mean showing your belly! Still moving, still moving, how are you? 
All of you know, all the ladies will sit back down. All the ladies sit back down. One, two, three. All the men stay on stage because on the count of three, all the men are now world famous ballerina dancers. Oh on the tippy toes, gentlemen. Tippy toes, tippy, tippy, tippy toes. That's right. Lovely moves, wonderful moves. That's right. Lovely spinning moves. Spinning. Wonderful, lovely moves, gentlemen. Lovely moves. And now ballerinas, grab a ballerina partner. Grab a ballerina partner. No, grab a ballerina partner. Yeah, grab a partner. No, grab your ballerina partner. That'll be, no, leave the ladies alone. Grab a, triple up, triple up, triple up right here, Neil. Triple up, triple up. There we go. Smooth moves. Smooth moves, that's right. Lovely moves, gentlemen, lovely moves. Don't forget about the tippy toes. Tippy, tippy, tippy toes. And now it's time for the finale. It's time to lift your partners into the sky. Lift them high. Everybody freeze! Do not move, gentlemen. Stay as you are. Do not move. Oh, God. <laughs> get your cameras now, folks. Doesn't get any weirder than that. I'm gonna count to three, gentlemen. All of you gonna go back to your chair where you started from. However, in a count of three, gentlemen. Count of three. You're gonna try and sit down in your chair, but you can't sit down. Because on the count of three, gentlemen, somebody has stolen your butt, it's missing, gone. You try and sit down, but you can't sit down, your butt is completely missing. On the count of three, gentlemen, have a seat, no more butt, you can't sit down, it's kind of hard. You have no more butt. One, two, three, have a seat, gentlemen. Seat. You sir have a seat. Oh Come on over here, sir. Come on over here. Come on over here. Now listen up. Turn over here. Turn over here for me. Turn, turn face the audience over here. Yeah. What was your name again? Danny. Danny. Danny, step back for me, Danny. Danny's a big guy. Wow. <laughs> now, Danny, what's the problem? I lost my butt. <laughs> What do you need your butt for? Don't tell us, Dan. I'm afraid what's gonna come out of Dan. <laughs> this was a different show, I'll tell you. We're the family show, Danny. I just wanna sit down. I know you do. So, Danny, I'll tell you what. Are you having a good time up here, Danny? A good time, yeah, I know you are. You're having an awesome time. While you were doing that, Danny, somebody came up here and took your butt. I want my butt. I'm gonna help you get that butt back. I think my mom has my butt. You did it one time, Danny, but I don't think she has it right now. She's wiped that butt a lot, too. That long chill with your mom. So, Danny, I'll tell you what. We're gonna go out there. I know who has your butt. Do you want it back? Yes. Danny, listen to me very carefully. We'll give you something here, too. In a minute, Danny. We're going to find the butt first, because the butt's important. <clears throat> now, Danny, listen to me very, very carefully. We're going to go out there, we're going to get your butt. Now, when we go out there, Danny, I'm going to show you who it is. It's not who you think it is. But when I do show you, Danny, there'll be no hitting, there'll be no fighting. You're just going to grab your butt, it's in the back pocket. You'll grab it from the back pocket, you'll put it back on. You understand? Yes. Uh, I said that for a reason, folks. Because I learned this the hard way. About Ten years ago, I had a gentleman, very similar to Danny's stature, very big man. Matter of fact, he played for the Raiders. 
And I didn't think about what was happening, but he was really pissed off, kind of like Danny is right now. <laughs> so he went into the audience, I showed him what had the butt. So he walked right up to the guy and he went, BAM! Knocked the guy out. <laughs> I said, we're not doing that anymore. <laughs> That's why I'm very careful about the suggestions. So we'll go get the butt. So are you ready to get the butt? I want my butt. <laughs> so guys, clear these chairs out for me because we're going to walk through that section right there. <laughs> Hi, right, Danny. Hi, right, Danny. Now, you do exactly as I do. You're my shadow. You do exactly as I do. Everything I do, you do. That way they don't see you coming, okay? So here we go. Do exactly as I do. Here we go. Here we go, Danny. Ready? <laughs> This way he doesn't see us coming. Where's the wabbit? My foot. Not him, man. Come on. Oh wait, we went the wrong way, Danny, come on. Come on, Danny. Danny, he's right there, he's got it in his back pocket, Danny. Grab it, grab it before he runs away. Put it on, Danny. Put it on, Danny, put it on. Turn around for a second, turn around, turn around. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Is that the right butt? So. Turn around. What does it feel like? I'm not scared. Little butt. <laughs> Mom, he said it was a little butt. We're gonna fix that for you, Danny. Have a seat over there. Give him a nice round of applause. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That was, was him straight. Your chairs, feet down on the floor, hands flat on top of your laps. Take a nice deep breath, all the way in, folks. Here we go. And sleep. Relax your bodies. Let it go. Dropping down. Wait. These are your stories, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, make them feel good. Y'all having a good time? Give me an oh yeah! Oh yeah! Awesome. All right, in a moment. Wow, I didn't even realize the time. I'm in overtime right now, but I don't really care. Y'all having a good time, right? Yeah! All right, everyone on stage, good evening. I'm feeling wonderful in every way. In a moment, I'm going to take all the other hypnosis. If I do this, I'm going to count zero to five. When I get to five, I'm going to open your eyes feeling absolutely amazing and wonderful in every way. I want to remove. All the silly suggestions, all the silly suggestions are now gone, erased from your mind. Danny, you have your butt back, whatever that felt like, that's up to you. Uh, new butt, do what you need to do. <laughs> all the silly suggestions are gone. Now I'm going to replace these suggestions, ladies and gentlemen, like I promised you, to be in a program of more confidence in your life, also higher self-esteem in your life, no matter what area you want to utilize it. Be at home, work, personal relationships, family, does not matter. You have more confidence, higher self-esteem from this moment forward. Also, ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> I'm going to give you a moment now. A single solitary moment, like I promised you to be in this program, to give yourself a very powerful suggestion. Now, you can only make one suggestion, folks. Now, I know there might be multiples, because, again, you know, there's all kinds of changes we want to make in our life, but you can only make one change. If you try to make two or three, it cancels everything out and you get nowhere. So only one suggestion. So if it's smoking, if it's weight, if it's making uh, more money, better relationships, whatever it is, ladies and gentlemen, I want you to make that one clear, powerful suggestion in your life right now.
Ladies and gentlemen, more confidence. You have high self-esteem. That one suggestion you just gave yourself takes complete total effect from this moment forward. Not because I say so. It's because you've allowed yourself to experience the maximum potential of your own lives completely and totally in every way. In a moment, take all of you out of hypnosis. But do so many count zero to five. When I get the five, you can open your eyes feeling refreshed and relaxed in every way. Matter of fact, ladies and gentlemen, as long as you've been in hypnosis, is equivalent to just about eight and a half hours of restful sleep. True fact. On awakening, you have more energy, more alert, more wonderfulness feeling, tingly feeling all over your body. So you're ready to go back down to sleep tonight. You're going to sleep quickly, soundly, and deeply. You're going to have one of the best nights sleep you've ever had in a very, very long time. Upon awakening in the morning, you're ready to face a new day. Feeling absolutely amazing in every way with the new lifestyle change that you've made right here, right now, at this amazing history of making event. I'm going to count certified, take all your hypnosis, all this amazing round of applause. Unless you all want to see one more, give me an oh yeah! Oh yeah! All right. Now, this suggestion will be with all of you until you leave this party. This will be gone and it will be removed. Now, I also have to leave the party first. The suggestion does not take effect until I leave the party. Because this is where all of you get carried away. Because all of you get to be the hypnotist now. So anytime any one of you who just got hypnotized in the audience or on stage, anytime you hear the following words, hypnotist, Hollywood, hypnotist, Kevin Stone, any one of those words, you have this uncontrollable urge while you're at this party, no matter what you're doing, if you hear the words, Hollywood, hypnotist, Kevin Stone, this is where you guys get to do this, but I have to leave first. <laughs> You'll jump up no matter where you are, yell and scream at the top of your lungs, I love you, man! Run over and hug the first available person you see. You are the love bandits of the party. This world needs lots of love, and you are those bandits. Anytime you hear the words Hollywood Hypnotist Kevin Stone, it's a version. So this is where you guys get to have fun. So as long as they're here, I'm going this one right here. This one, I just do it all night. Let me let them leave. <laughs> I'm on the stage to watch. <laughs> this is hilarious. <laughs> I can tour with me anytime you want. <laughs> you tour with me. <laughs> now, it's kind of fun to share something with you a little bit early. I got here really early. I don't know if he knows me walk in, but I, you know, this is an amazing party. I want, I, I want to say, I do a lot of parties, and I don't, I don't say things just because I have to say them. This is an awesome party. Give yourselves a round of applause. I walked in on the announcements, and I was really, really touched by those things. And, you know, give Samantha a nice round of applause. There's a lot of work. Whoever helped us put this thing together. Yeah. Of course, we know why we're here, right? Man of the hour. Thanks for having me here, guys. I really appreciate it. So, yeah, have some fun. <laughs> so oh, what I was going to share with you so I got here early right <laughs> and nobody knew who I was so I sat over here and I just happened to sit next to him <laughs> and so we had a chat he goes hypnosis I'm not doing that <laughs> no way I gotta ride my motorcycle home tonight <laughs> not going to hypnosis <laughs> That's what he told me. That guy can tour with me any time. Alright, I'm going to take all you out of hypnosis. Now, you guys know what to do when I leave, right? Tell you me something else. Now, if you want more information, go to my website. It's hypnotist.com. Pretty simple to remember. All the more information you want on, again, if you want to learn how to do hypnosis, all that kind of stuff, all that information's on there. You get to have some great information about how to do hypnosis, all right? I'm going to take all these people out of hypnosis. Let's give them an amazing, thunderous, powerful round of applause. Zero, coming up to one, two, three, four, starting to come back to the room where you're at, feeling good, big smiles on your face, feeling absolutely amazing and refreshing in every way. All this applause is for you. Five, eyes open, wide awake. Don't go anywhere yet because I want to deeply reinforce those suggestions we gave you in the beginning of the program. 
That way you have that one suggestion that will take effect, and then you're going to call me and let me know exactly what's going on, like our smoker I talked to you about earlier in this program. So what you're going to do to reinforce that powerful suggestion you give yourselves, folks, you're going to take that right fist, clench it down just like this. Good. Right fist. Good. Now on the count of three, we're going to take that fist, we're going to lunge it into the air. All of you are going to yell as loud as you possibly can. I feel great. Because you look great, you feel great, you did absolutely phenomenal. So here we go, count of three all together. One, two, three. All together, one, two, three. One more time, nice and loud, one, two, three. You guys are awesome. Stand up, one, two, three. Take a bow, this applause is for you. Take a bow, you guys are awesome. Take a bow. My name is Holland Hibbert, this is Kevin Stone. May God bless every single one of you. I'll see you again real soon. Good night, everybody!